With the results of Germany's election in and no outright winner, the country is now facing long, drawn-out negotiations to decide the colour of its future coalition government. Both the SPD and the CDU-CSU say their leader should succeed Angela Merkel as Chancellor. But for now, everything is up for grabs, with both the Greens and the Liberal FDP crucial to the talks. Joining me from Munich is Dr. Yasmin Riedel, Professor of Political Science at Munich University. Dr. Riedel, thanks so much for joining us. Some are saying that Germany may not have a new government until Christmas. Just why are these coalition talks so complex? Yeah, it is so complex because we have to have three parties to cooperate. So the union, so the CDU, CSU, the Conservative Party, the FDP and the Greens together seems to be possible, or instead the SPD, the Greens and the FDP. So three different point of views and uh, they have to come together. That's not so easy. Of course, um, Olaf Schulz has uh, taken the lead here. He's turned his SDP party around to beat Armin Laschet's CDU-CSU. What were the key issues that meant that the SPD finally won? Well, I think there are two, two points that are important. So at first, um, the the candidate from the union, so Amin Laschet, and from the Greens, Annalena Baerbock, they face a lot of negative press and uh, were not so popular in um, in the yeah general media. Like, and um, so this was a problem. And compared to this, Olaf Scholz could stand still and wait and. Um, didn't face that much critique, although he had also critical issues, um, like, for example, the wire cut scandal. This is one point. So he was not that, didn't stand that bad compared to the other two. And on the other hand, um, a general problem that Germany is facing now is the economic consequences of the corona pandemic. And to me, it seems a bit like um, Olaf Scholz represents more the competencies and ability um, together with the F SPD to solve these problems. So the economy very important, as you said, but clearly the Greens and the FDP are going to be pivotal players in these talks. Will Germany succeed in bringing together both climate and business in its new coalition, do you think? Yeah, this is the big question, but I think they have to, because otherwise we cannot get a coalition and we will have another vote, uh, voting and election campaign. Um, it is important and it is needed that the FDP and the Greens come together and um, bring together their ideas, their issues and find a compromise. But as you said, it's not that easy.